Alright, what is up guys, Action Fear Attic 1 here, and I'm back with another quick review in the Skull Asylum. So, I'm going to be looking at the 25th Anniversary Cobra Viper, and um, so this was uh, sent to me by JV underscore 77, so thank you very much for this figure, and um, now I'm going to do a review of them and I'll let you know what I think of them. Um, I mean, I love all my Joes, but we'll see. Um, so he does come with five accessories. He comes with his backpack, his visors, um, his, or his goggles, his vest, his gun, and of course his base. So we'll start out with the base first, since it's the more, like, lamer accessory. <laughs> the more uninteresting one. Um, so it says Codename Cobra Viper. Has the Cobra logo there. Has some sculpted detail right there on the sides. And of course on the bottom here, it says 2007 Hasbro. And made in China. So, yeah, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'll just set that aside right here. We'll take a look at his gun here, which he can kind of hold in both hands, but not really. Um... So this is, I think, some type of M16, I think, um, or at least a heavenly modified one. I mean, you wouldn't see someone running around um, with a weapon like this. Um, so, you know, Cobra's always out there with those really outrageous weapons, so I'm not surprised that their Vipers would be running around with something like this. Um, but it's it's a pretty pretty terrifying weapon. I mean, you have two magazines here so I'm guessing if you run out of um, ammo here you could just go to this one um, I honestly thought this was connected to the grenade launcher but it looks like um, there's a separation between these two uh, between the gun and the grenade launcher it has a suppressor on there looks like a scope I'm not sure what kind of scope that would be it looks like a long-range scope um, probably a caliber right there to calibrate this. Um, or maybe that's the uh, the knob uh, to switch it from automatic to semi-automatic. Um, let's see. And yeah, looks like that's pretty much that. So it's cool. It's mold. It's like in this grayish white color. I know it's gonna come out white on the camera, but it's kind of a lighter gray. At least to me. Um, kind of like a milky gray color. Um, and then the backpack. It's glossy black. Um, if you have any of the Cobra Troopers, you're probably already used to this backpack. So, just pegs right into the back. No problem. Um, the visor, I'm not going to take off just because um, that's how I lost them the first time with my Python Patrol uh, version of this character and um, yeah I'm not doing that I'm not doing that again so they're gonna stay on his head but uh, they do look really awesome though even though they're only in one color but it's awesome um, and of course the vest is extremely clean like the paint on there is clean like this was around the time when Hasbro was was caring about their QC and their paint issues and um, not just like doing sloppy stuff for like 50th anniversary um, but yeah he looks really really clean um, I really like the silver on the helmet there um, I knew the Pursuit of Cobra one had the, the much more like really silver um, reflective um, liquidy metallic silver um, on the mask on the visor has the circuits and stuff like that through the helmet that's nicely painted too obviously the the uh, wrist guards and the, the hands um, and then what else uh, the glossy black on the boots and then this is really nice too the silver on the boots are painted as well not sure if it'll come out, but yeah. So, I like that. It's really nice. Um, and I'll get into the articulation here, and then we'll uh, 
I'll let you know what I think about it in the end. So, 360 in the head, can look up that much, can look down that much, which is really good. Um, 360 in the arms, can move his arms up this much, can move him down to the side, has a single joint in the elbow, 360 in the elbow, 360, or I'm sorry, yeah, 360 in the elbow, 360 in the wrist right there, and that's it. Up there, uh, 360 in the uh, ab crunch area, which you can see there's some movement in there. Um, can kick forward this much, can kick back this much, can kick out that much, 360 in the knee, can go back that much, um, 360 in the feet, and then a back pivot, can pivot his foot back that much, and can move it forward that much. So, yeah, overall, he's he's really cool. I like him. Um, I mean, at the time, there wasn't a lot of articulation, um, but, you know, as you can see, for a figure that's almost, what, um, almost, what, 11? Uh, no, I think like 11, 11, 11, almost 12 years old. Um, yeah, he's really nice. Um, he's definitely survived really nicely and um yeah the sculpting and stuff like that is superb on this figure um probably if i had to read them i probably would give them maybe a seven and a half addicts out of ten i think the issues here are just the the new 360 they put the joint up there and sit in the hands and the hands are just a little bit sculpted uh a little wonky but besides that he's a great figure so that's it for me so thank you for checking into the skull asylum and ask for your attic on one two out